So for our three column blocks here, um, what we're going to have to do is I want these home blocks to be coming from a custom post type. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to create a new custom post type and name it Featured Posts. And an easy way of doing that is to use custom post type UI. It will allow us to easily and quickly create custom post type and then we can query it for our front page. So here we are and I'm going to go ahead and click the add new. So we're going to name it featured posts. And click the create custom post type. So now you can see it here. We're going to go ahead and add a featured post. Just grab a little lower ispum. Okay, so this is one. And actually, let's go ahead and add support for featured image images so that we can get our featured images option over here. So we'll come back to the functions.php file, come to the bottom of our last update, and here inside of your functions.php um, we have the featured images folder, and <clears throat> just simply use the post thumbnails support And you can set this size at whatever you want it to be. Um, this is going to be for full size. And now when we refresh, we have the option for the featured image. So we'll go ahead and set featured image here. And I'll upload a different image. We'll use this as the featured. And now I'll make two more. Featured image. And we'll add one more. Okay, so now that we have all of our featured images, the next thing that we're going to do is come back to our index.php file. And we are going to first define a section. In this section, we can also define the class row. Okay. And inside of here, now right now, this is um, under home-template.php. That's because we're going to break this index.php apart into different templates once we have the layout finished. So what we're putting here will actually be inside of a file called home-template.php once we're finished.
So you're gonna right here we're gonna put in this second snippet, query CPT. And here we're going to adjust the uh, post type to reflect our custom post type named featured posts. We want three and we're going to get the title to only get the excerpt. And then let's also get the featured image. So if you take a look under your common WordPress, you have the featured image right here. Let's take a look. Okay. So right now you can see that all of the images are full screen. Now watch what happens when we make these columns. see that the images automatically adjust to the size when we respond notice that they change and take up the full width area 